Sam Moskal here, and we're talking about a WordPress tutorial, and we're specifically, we've got a number of videos here in case you're just catching this one, but we're specifically looking at the background, and this is the way our website started out. We're giving it a total makeover, and we're specifically looking at like the background color. This is what we changed it to, and we want to change this gray over to a different color, and uh, I actually just learned, this is what we have currently now. Um, so we went through all those, all these other looks so far on the other videos, and there's a couple ways you can do this. Uh, we just learned something very helpful and very useful, though. And uh, you can go and go to the appearance button, and then go down to the editor. This is what we have done in the past, and then you can go, and it's in here somewhere. But there's you have to kind of look through some super geek computerish code and I ju you know it may have always been like this but we're gonna do it an easier way here because this is so much easier I've been <laughs> working with this stuff for so long I can't believe it took me this long to figure it out so let me avoid you having to make the same foolishness because I'm feeling kind of foolish <laughs> I mean just figured that out um, what we're gonna do though is just upload a background image we're just gonna go ahead and do it from this Sorry about that. We're going to click Customize. And this is such an easier way to change this because we want to change this whole, all this gray stuff right here. So we're going to go drop down and we're going to upload a new file. We've already got our file here, background. And we're going to click Open and it's going to change all to white. I think this white looks far superior just looks a lot cleaner in my opinion and a lot easier maybe less cluttered less action less stuff going on so we're gonna go ahead and click save and publish and take a look at it and how it's changed like I said you can do both ways I really recommend just creating you know if you want to do an image you can obviously do an image as well uploading an image but this is a lot easier way than what I have done in the past to <laughs> change that working within the same and even on another website that I've currently got. This is Dan Moskal and we're going to probably, we're going to actually uh, rearrange this header here in our off time and upload a new header and take this text off. Um, if you have some specific questions when it comes to that, just let me know. I'm happy to share some more of these videos and want to help you as much as I possibly can. And if you'd like to get some more help, I'm Dan Moskal. You can visit my website, danmoskaluniversity.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description below and sign up for our free newsletter along with, uh, we have an upcoming training event that we're doing live on the specific subject of SEO and we plan on doing some live events. So please visit danmoskaluniversity.com and sign up for our newsletter and in the next video like I said we're gonna probably look at the header we might do that in our own time and then we're gonna look at some of the better ad placements along with doing a few additional tweaks and some plugins and we're gonna change also just this the menus and customize just a few more things so like I said if you have any questions or specifics you'd like to see or with your website uh, the other thing I want to mention too is this little thing right here in the top left hand corner of your browser they call it the favicon we're going to change that as well to make it more friendly and more uh, congruent with our ultimate website when we're finally done with it when we get closer to our finished product here please subscribe to my youtube channel and you can also find I've got four books over here at Amazon. We're also at Barnes & Noble. We're also at iTunes and Audible.com. And looking forward to talking to you again soon here.